Hey guys. Hey. Okay, so we're gonna talk about following now. Okay. Um, like we said, following is important to build your market, so make sure you're always doing that every single day. So I'm gonna tell you the way that I follow people because it's a little bit different. But there's no right or wrong way to follow people. You just want to make sure that you get quality people and not the creeps. <laughs> so what I do is I actually will go on to one of my followers. It's actually Jesse's account. But, um, okay, so I'll go to, let's just say this photo. Um, so the people that liked it, so they're active people. Okay, yeah. So I'm going, going to someone. this person. Okay, that looks pretty. <laughs> Hold on. All right, I'll go to this person. Okay, so she has a lot of followers. You know I'm going to probably, like, click on one of her higher liked pictures. She's got 104 likes. Okay, so I'll click her likes. Because that way I know they're active on Instagram, so they will be active on your account. You okay. know, whether they like it, comment, whatever, they're they on Instagram. Watch. So um, I'll literally follow. Just follow. All of them. A lot of – and just keep following. Yeah. A lot of them are like um, – I feel like my business relates mostly to girls, so I will follow girls more than guys. But, you know, I have guys that buy from me all the time. I have lots of guys on my team. So it doesn't mean that you won't be successful. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Just follow, 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 follow. And then, you know, whoever's not on private. So this girl isn't on private. So I'm going to click her. Just to get a different kind of group of people, I'll click this picture and go to her likes. So she got a lot of likes. So then I'll follow all of these people. Not all of them, you know. Just, like, go to another person that's not on private. And then you can do the same throughout there. So I'll keep going through it. And it kind of just, like, gets different groups of people. But, you know, they're all similar friends they're most likely gonna like your posts mm-hmm. okay my turn yes okay so um something that i recently done that you might not have realized that instagram has now but it has saves okay so what it does is it lets you save a picture and you can save it into like a category right so what's gonna happen is when you're following a lot of people every once in a while you're gonna get blocked it's temporary just means that you've been following too many people I think it's like when you hit 200 or something like that. I've never really counted okay so when that happens something I do is I still go find people that I want to follow their likes and I save it under a list called follows okay and so what I've done how I find people is I um why well, do the same thing that Carly does like we, we're very similar a lot of this week we have little differences so I'll go to like a picture that um and I'll find someone who liked it oh I think she has good followers and then her right? This girl, like, she's so cute. Look, she's like this adorable little Instagram, right? And so if I'm not blocked from following, I'll go follow. But if I am blocked from following, it's a cute puppy. yeah, I'll go like this. I typically, I look at pictures and I'm like, what picture would a girl like? Okay. So if it's a selfie, it's probably gonna be a lot of guys that liked it. But if it's like a puppy, it's probably gonna be a lot of girls that liked it, right? So I'll pick the puppy picture. I'll, I'll click the saved and it'll pop up and I'll put it under followers, right? Or follows, right? So I can go back and follow her. But let's say I'm not blocked from uh, following right now. So I'm going to go under her likes. And I'm going to like, I'm going to follow everyone that liked that picture. Okay? And then I do this probably two times a day. I typically do it in the morning. Like I wake up um, and I do it before I even get out of bed in the morning. So I already feel accomplished. And then I do it again at night. Um, those are the same thing. Yeah, the same thing. Right? And so like that's what I do. And that's how I've grown my followers. I started with 300 followers and now I have 9,000. How many did you start with? Do you remember? Uh, zero. <laughs> sure. Like zero followers. Okay, so I had like 200 followers. Yeah. And then um, I think I'm at around like eight, 7,000. Oh, okay. <laughs> around that. Yeah. So like don't feel like, oh, I don't have followers. Oh, no. Like none of us have followers to start out. Okay. That's then, why we yeah. build our market. Something also that's really important with following is your bio. Since we have private accounts, the only thing they're going to see is your picture picture in your bio. That's how they're judging you. I'm so that, following. Right. So that's how they're going to be like, oh, does she look interesting? Okay. So make sure your picture is something that they could see. Like, don't be like, don't have a picture that's like from far away. Like you can see my face. You can see that I look happy and excited and maybe I look interesting. Okay. And then for my, my, um, my bio, it's relatable. I'm 20. Maybe they relate to my age. I'm from Texas. Maybe they relate to that. Um, fiance, daughter of Christ, men of wandering soul, like travel. I love travel. Talk about what school you're in. Yeah, if you're in school, if you travel a lot, if you're Bible verse, anything, a favorite quote, whatever anything. you like. That's that's just you in a little nutshell. Yeah. And, um, but make it relatable. Like some someone might be able to relate that I live in Texas. Someone might be able to relate that I'm Christian. Someone might be able to relate that I like traveling. Something like that. Um, I want to talk about like just following real quick. Yeah. Um, like we said, we're very goal oriented. So. 
just because you followed like 300 people doesn't mean that they're all going to follow you back. So make sure that you like set goals for yourself. So my goal every single day is to at least gain 100 followers. So I set those goals for myself and you actually want to um probably gain more followers since you're newer you want to build your market all the more um so something really important is that you want to make sure your numbers are equal what we mean by that is your ratio of people you're following to your to the people that are following you so like just think about it logically like if you came across an account and it was following 2,000 people and it had 200 followers what's the first thing in your mind this is a spam account. Like, that's exactly what you think because that happens all the time. Spam or just, like, people that don't really have interesting posts. So, people yeah. are going to judge you on that. They don't look interesting, right? They look like everyone, like, thinks they're annoying, right? And so, you want to make sure as much as you're following, you're unfollowing those people that don't follow you back. How what, The app we use, so there's an app for it, so it's not really complicated. It's called Cleaner for Instagram. Um, you can find it on the App Store. It basically helps you mass unfollow people so you're not sitting there all day long trying to follow people. Right, and I can unfollow unfollow 200 people like that. Like, it's so simple. And it'll show you, like, who, um, like, it it keeps track of who follows you back and stuff like that. So let's say, like, I'll follow throughout the day, and then the next morning I'm going to unfollow a bunch of people and then start following again. Because I give everybody about maybe 48 hours to follow me back, and then I just unfollow them, you know? Um, so that's super important because you want to keep those numbers even, okay? So, like, right now... Like, you want more followers than follow win. Yes. It's all subconscious. It sucks that it has to be down to this way, but it really is a subconscious thing. Yeah. You know, like, if people see you having 10,000 followers, they're going to be like, wow, who is this girl? She only follows seven, like, 5,000, and she's got, like, 10,000 followers. Like, who is this person? And, like, I've made a second account, so I can kind of relate to it in the very beginning. So, like, in the very beginning with my second account, I had, see, like, you can see right here, I only have... 1100 followers and I'm following 1043 it's very close but you're building your market I'm still following less than are following me even if it's off by like 50 you'd think it wouldn't even matter but it does even the little it's just subconscious just like when you go to someone's Instagram account I'm sure if you saw like them having 12,000 followers you're going to want to follow them because you're going to want to check out what's going on in that account so that's the reason why we follow the way we follow and do you have anything else to add Mm, that's it all right um yeah so just follow your friends uh likes on their pictures stuff like that and you'll just keep expanding and expanding if you go to college and you're in college a great market is just to follow everyone that goes to that college because when they see your that college in their bio they're going to instantly follow you look up hashtags search places around you like there's all ways of following just so what, no however way. you find a picture follow the likes because those are the active people exactly all right well bye, bye.